Sister Lucy Rose, the General Counselor of the Salesian Sisters, making extraordinary visitation to the FMA Sisters of this province of the Philippines. We are in the Easter season and we are an Easter people. It is my joy to greet you and to wish you the blessings of the risen Lord also in the name of our Mother General, Sister Yvonne Reungo and the Sisters of the General Council of the Salesian Sisters. May the risen Lord bless you all. We have just celebrated the solemnity of Easter. The celebrations are different this time as we are living in a period which is dramatic and historic with the outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic. This period of emergency in the world is truly an invitation for us to serve life, primarily by putting an end to superficiality, indifference, selfishness that puts me at the center of everything, not forgetting that everything is a gift of God. Our celebrations are different. However, it has something to tell us. Here, I would like to share this reflection, making a reference to the reflection made by the Mid Valley Baptist Church in California. The very first Easter was not in a crowded worship space with the singing and praising. On the very first Easter, the disciples were locked in their house. It was dangerous for them to come out. They were afraid. They wanted to believe the good news the, that they heard from the women that Jesus had risen. But it seemed too good to be true. They were living in a time of such despair and such fear. If they left their homes, their lives and the lives of their loved ones might be at risk. Could a miracle really have happened? Could life really have won out of a death? Could this time of terror and fear really be coming to an end? Alone in their homes, they dared to believe that hope was possible that the long night was over and morning had broken, that God's love was the most powerful of all, even though it didn't seem quite real yet. Eventually, they were able to leave their homes when the fear and danger had subsided. They went around celebrating and spreading the good news that Jesus was risen and love was the most powerful force on the earth. This year, we might get to experience a taste of what that first Easter was like, still in our homes, daring to believe that hope is on the horizon. Then, after a while, when it is safe for all people, when it is the most loving choice, we will come out, gathering together, singing and shouting the good news that God brings life even out of death and that love has always the final say. This year we might get the closest taste we have had yet to what that first Easter was like. Therefore, we are a people of hope and we go ahead, trusting in the power of our lover God, who possesses a love that conquers death and darkness. These days, we are repeatedly listening to the episode of Easter morning and the days that followed Easter, revealing to us a God who walks with us in the ordinary circumstances of life and a God who bountifully shares his love on humankind every moment of every day. 
the risen Jesus identified himself forever with the everyday person. We see the many opportunities and the apparitions of the risen Christ at different timings and to different persons. He appeared to those whom he manifested himself to Mary Magdalene and to the apostles as a traveler, a stranger, a fisherman, thus proving that he is one with a common person in the ordinary circumstances of life. Easter thus gives us the conviction that precisely in the folds of those moments of ordinary life it is possible to meet the Lord. We can meet the recent Saviour not just on a solemnity of the Church once a year, but more especially in living the ordinary life, in entering into communion with ordinary people and in the various daily circumstances of life. Let us embrace the ordinary means of God's grace, love and peace in our everyday life while recognizing His presence with us at all times as He Himself said, I will be with you always, even to the end of the ages. Let the conviction of the presence of the Lord give us hope for the future. May the accompanying presence of Mary, the help of all people, be our comfort and our strength. Good night. Thank you.